Hi everyone, Mark from Windy City Breaks, talking to you today about what I think are still in this crazy card market fantastic investments. Those are 86, 87 flare stickers. Um, you know, every time I think these can't go higher, I turn around and I hold on to them a little bit longer and a little bit longer and they go higher and higher and higher in value. Uh, now with all this nostalgia with COVID-19 going on, uh, everybody's starting to talk about the established players from the 70s and especially the 80s. Uh, and some of those people I wanted to just show today because I still think, depending on your budget, uh, they're great investments. Uh, my one dude right here is one that I would highly recommend. Uh, this is Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Uh, this particular flare, 8687 flare sticker is a... PSA 9. Uh, it to me it actually looks like a 10. I might even send it in and ask for a regrade. Um, I did uh, get this one uh, reholdered because I liked it so much I should have. Maybe you can say maybe it's off a little bit in the back but that shouldn't really affect it too much. Corners are sharp. No print marks. Uh, this one looked like a 10 to me. There's only been 14 10s and by the way uh, this is what a 10 looks like. I have one right here as well, and this is really centered and sharp. One of the nicer tens that I've seen. Um, uh, I've always been collecting these stickers, so I have a fair amount of them. And uh, people ask, are you going to sell? And um, I still think they have room to go. Uh, there's only 14 of these Kareems, uh, so that means in the 86, 87 flare sets, um, you can only have 14 sets in existence, no matter how much... Uh, people say I got 86, 87 Flair Michael Jordan. There's 119 of them in the stickers. Uh, you can still, if you're a set collector, only have 14 sets. Uh, some of these cards, and I think for all budgets, right? So this Kareem, I think you can still get the PSA 9, uh, even today for about $1,200. Uh, I have think these cards have plenty of room to run. Uh, these Kareem, this one here, this uh, 86 uh, Flair sticker, in a 10, uh, last sale was over 18 grand. I bet these things would fetch over 20 right now. They've really gone up. Um, another great investment, I think, if I look through uh, some of these stickers here, um, I have them all in uh, plastic protectors. Um, obviously, uh, is Hakeem Olajuwon uh, is another one. Uh, this PSA 9 of his, you can still get for about $300. Um, this one I can see where it's a 9, even though it's really nice. It's a little off from left to right, off-centered. Uh, but you can still get these for about 300 bucks, as opposed to his 10, uh, which is right here. Uh, these are going for, you know, twelve dollars to $1,500. Uh, this one's really crisp and bright. You can see the nice colors on it. Uh, going for uh, about twelve dollars to $1,500 and rising. Uh, still, I think Hakeem's a great investment. Um, Obviously, uh, things have been going crazy for Michael Jordan lately. Uh, here's a Jordan 9 sticker. Uh, love Jordan 9s. Uh, they're still a great value compared to the 986 uh, 87 Flare rookie card, which is going for about uh, probably 10 grand right now. You can get these for about 3300 I think these still have room to run. Uh, talk about room to run. Uh, here is an 86 87 uh, Flare Jordan sticker, perfectly centered. Um, uh, in a 10 and uh, one of these just sold the other day for $24,000 um, just crazy prices but when you consider that his uh, 86 87 flare rookie card which has over 300 of a population uh, is selling for over 50 grand you can kind of see where these are starting to catch up now uh, other players I still think that are great values are uh, you know for example Magic Johnson uh, one of the best basketball players ever as well. Uh, you can pick his stickers up uh, uh, right now. A uh, 9 for a couple hundred dollars. A 10 uh, are going for about a thousand. Um, but uh, I still think a good value. Uh, Larry Bird is another one that you should look for depending on your budget. And a PSA 9 or 10. The 10s are really starting to rise uh, in value. I've seen them going for about $1,600 lately. Uh, as well as a Dominique Wilkins cards. Uh, human Highlight Film. Uh, these cards here, um, in a 10, you could get probably eight months ago for under a thousand bucks. Now they're going 12, 13, 1400. So these are rising rapidly as well. Uh, so, you know, I think it's better than the, the, uh, the, even the stock market right now. I think you have a, have a balanced portfolio, but depending on your budget, even this, the PSA eight 
stickers, 86, 87 flare, uh, where you can pick up the entire set probably for about fifteen, sixteen hundred dollars I think is a great value. Uh, back in the day, even a year ago, I was picking up that entire set for about $700. So those have over doubled in the last eight months. Uh, I think these cards will continue to do so. I think they're a better value uh, right now than the actual 86, uh, 87 flare rookie cards of these players. I think those have already seen a, a pretty big rise. I still think they have room to run, but I still think, I think now these cards, if you will, these stickers in lesser of a pop, so less population, uh, have room to run. As a matter of fact, these Jordan stickers, as you probably know from watching these video, are about a third, uh, have about a third less than a 10 population. Why is that? Um, a, they were in the back of all the packs. I think they were uh, they were cut a little differently in their sheets, uh, but I also think there's less of them out there. Uh, I know when I was a kid, uh, some of these cards I used to get, I used to peel them and actually stick them somewhere. Uh, so not only are they getting ripped and thrown in boxes uh, like the 8687 Flare were, uh, the stickers were getting stuck on people's lunch boxes and so on and so forth, their school binders. Uh, so that makes them a little rarer as well. Uh, so hope this helps. Uh, if you're looking where to spend some money, I personally think that this type of set of these classic Hall of Fame type players are the way to go. Um, uh, obviously, that also includes people like Kobe and LeBron. Uh, nothing wrong with the modern stars, the you know the Zion's and the. Uh, uh, you know the John Morant's of the world, but you know those guys got to prove themselves a little bit. Uh, and personally, uh, for me to invest uh, thousands of dollars right now in one of their cards, I think these types of cards uh, are the way to go. Uh, good luck in your choices you make with what you buy, but buy quality and uh, buy PSA. I would say even over Beckett and these types of cards. Uh, thanks for watching.